My name is John Ross and I breed and show exhibition fancy pigeons. I'm always to be found down the garden in the pigeon loft. I have approximately 40 pigeons at any one time in my loft. I strive to work against nature to produce a, a bird which is very cobby and chicken-like when nature wants the bird to revert to type. Darwin was trying to get birds to revert to type by crossbreeding various breeds to try and go back to the ordinary Columbia Olivia, the blue rock dove in other words. Whereas a pigeon fancier or a pigeon breeder and showman is constantly striving to produce a better shaped bird, but nature is always giving him birds more like nature intended. The racing pigeon breeder is looking for intelligence and speed. He doesn't worry about colour, he doesn't worry about shape, he doesn't worry if there's an odd white feather here or there, he just purely interested in producing that sort of bird. The fancy pigeon breeder has got all the problems to try and work out. He's got to get the right colour, the right shape, he's got to get the birds to actually look the part. Then of course you have all the genetic problems that you might get in as much as a good looking bird is not always a genetically constitutionally sound bird. And I will find I'm going to choose a bird that's won for me at a show. A bird that I know has got a good temperament to be in the shed. A bird that will feed its chicks. I want a bird that's got the all round qualities and that's very hard to find. Because you'll find that the Medina, the breed that I keep, are very, very highly strung. And as such, do not make great parents. The best parents are the most wild pigeons you can get. And it's very interesting to notice that, that if you have a couple of crossbred pigeons, they will look after their babies far better than any Medina. So again, nature is playing the natural selection card in that respect. The UK National Pigeon Association has a book of standards, and these standards will be set as long ago as 1900. They do constantly change, but for instance, my chosen breed, the Medina, the standard is unchanged since 1912. The perfect bird has not been bred. You can strive towards achieving a perfect bird, but you'll never get a perfect bird. Once you get a perfect bird, the standard would need to be redone. The idea of the standard is to try and achieve that perfection, but you never can achieve it. All Medina breeding is trial and error. We all pretend we know what we're doing, but to be honest, if a, if a winner comes out of an odd pair, we accept it. I had a bird in 2003 at Swansea that was best pigeon in show of a thousand birds. I virtually flew home along the M4, coming home. It was fantastic feeling, a feeling that can't be described. And all I won was a piece of card that said, well done. You know, there was no money involved and it's, that's what makes the hobby fantastic.